What's up guys? Uh, I had a request to do a video on showing how to tie a uh, just a standard tie. Okay, what's the easiest, fastest, simplest way to do that? There's a bunch of different ways you can do it, a bunch of different knots. Uh, I actually prefer a double Windsor knot because it gives you a larger triangle on the knot part of the tie itself, but it's also a little bit more complicated. Um, I had this request uh, about four or five days ago and I didn't really think I was going to do a video on it, but today I got dressed up because me and my coworkers gave our boss um, our Christmas gift, so I figured I'd look nice for the day. And I happened to have a tie on, I thought about the request, and I thought, you know what, why not? I make videos on all kinds of random stuff sometimes. So today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a tie the simplest way. And uh, in addition to giving you this perspective, I'm going to try to give you a first-person perspective, because if the camera's here looking down, as if you were really looking at yourself, that's the easiest way to learn. Okay, seeing this position can be complicated because you're reversing everything, and it just doesn't feel as easy. So at the end of the video, I'll show you the first-person perspective. But uh, right now, obviously, I'm wearing the tie. Um, I'm going to take it off and put it back on. I'll show you all the steps. It's actually really easy. Sometimes it's very intimidating, uh, specifically if you're like a teenager or something and you have to go to a wedding and like, you know, you know how to tie a tie and you're just like, how do I do this? Um, so what do you do? You hop on YouTube like everyone else. If you have a stupid question or you feel like you have a question that's stupid and you don't want to feel dumb asking it, what do you do? You search on Google or you search on YouTube and you, you get your answer, right? Without anyone knowing. Um, so... Yes, here's the uh, here's tying a tie. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, put your collar up, all right, and put your tie on, right. So we have a here's our tie, and they make some like if you're a taller person, they do make extra long ties so that it's not when you're all done, it's not you know hanging like this on, on your chest. It, it looks dumb. There is an appropriate spot to have your tie, and you know if I angle the camera down just a little bit, I'll show you that. You want the tie, when it's all done being tied, to be right around, I don't have my shirt tucked in right now, but you want it right around waist high, just above your belt, okay, just above your belt buckle, generally speaking. You can go up and down maybe like an inch or two, but you don't want it like way up here, that looks dumb, and you don't want it where it's hanging down, swinging past your pants, all right? So there's definitely a balance there, an appropriate balance. So, we take our tie, put it around our neck. Now, if you're righty, you want the fat end on your right side, okay? If you're lefty, obviously reverse it. But collar goes up, tie goes around, okay? Now we want this laying flat as if it's on us. We want the presentation side as opposed to the back. You'll know it's the back because you'll see the seam, but besides seeing the, uh, the seam on the tie, if I can show you that, where it's stitched together, you'll also see more than likely a little loop, okay? And the purpose is a little loop is for your small end to go through so it keeps steady. I'll, I'll show you that towards the end. But this is the back, okay, and this is the front. So we keep this so that the front is facing out so we can see it, right? And obviously doing a mirror makes it easier. And um, there's really basically like three or four steps, all right? The first thing, well, the biggest thing too is, is how much tie is on each side of you. What you always want is about 25% of the tie uh, the, the skinny part, about 25% hanging down, whereas you want 75% of the fat ends hanging down. It's always going to be like this, okay? This is how you get the appropriate length once it's actually tied. You have to play around with this. This is not something I can say, oh, always do nine inches, whatever. Everyone's different. We have different size bodies and stuff like that, different size ties. Some are fatter, skinnier, longer, shorter. So you have to play around with your specific tie and your body to get a feel for exactly how long you need it down. But generally speaking, about a quarter here, three quarters on this side. So the first step to this is to put your fat end over top. All right, all you're doing is crossing it. Now on a tie, a lot of times there's actually a line stitch across to show you the appropriate length, but it's just a, it's just a generic guide. And you can see it on this one right here. Um, this is the front part of the tie, but there's actually a little seam there. My hand's in the way, I can't even tell if I'm showing you this. There we go. This is lining up. I put my finger on there so you can see this. This is lining up. There we go. Here's where that little seam is. Alright, this is basically saying that it should cross right around here. Alright. That's the suggestion on this particular tie 
is to cross right there. That's why they have that, that separate seam. It's kind of a guide to look, look go by. But I happen to know from personal experience that it's a little bit longer on this side to get the height that I want. So anyway, sorry for confusing you there. <laughs> but fat side goes over top of the skinny side. Now you want to take your pointer finger and thumb and pinch it, hold it together, okay? So it crosses over, you hold it together. Now you take your fat side and you go down behind the skinny side and then across the front of it. The next step is to go up through the loop, okay? So you're going behind where the loop is created around your neck pulling your tie through and then taking the tip and pushing it down through the knot that we're creating all right pull it all the way through we have our kind of loose triangle here now don't worry I know you're lost when I give you the first person perspective you're going to understand all of this a lot better I'm just giving you a general idea of how to do it all right now all you have to do is adjust it you take a little tag end behind our knot and we pull through. As we pull through, we kind of shimmy it around so it goes up by the neck. You can flare this out if you want, make your triangle more substantial to get a good look. That's it. Kind of tinker with it, straighten it up a little bit, make it look nice and neat. And then you take your, your small end and you put it through that loop on the back. And the purpose of this is to keep the, um, keep the tie nice and straight and to keep that from poking out of the side because your end presentation you just want the fat end you don't want the skinny end showing so it's hidden behind the front of the tie just like that so there's our tie now if we didn't have that little loop in the back and you're being very active and stuff your tie can look like that and sloppy and stuff sometimes people use a nice tie clip you know which is like a, just a little clip that hold, basically holds it together it's a nice presentation or like a tie tack or something like that and basically the purpose of that is just to keep these two pieces of material together so they don't shift when you're moving around you know dancing at a wedding who knows what you're doing so actually by the time you dance at a wedding the tie should be off at that point <laughs> but um that's how to tie a tie i know it still seems a little confusing so i'm going to show you a first person perspective to get a better understanding of what it is and once you see that the pov version of this you're going to go oh Duh, that's easy. All right, guys, I think it's the best way I could show you this. <laughs> I have to take a picture of this angle to show you how I'm making this video. It's insane. All right, so collars up. We got our fat side on the right side, if you're righty. Skinny side over here. Okay, now we have about 25% of the skinny side hanging down, 75%, okay, of the fat side. First thing you want to do, and by the way, here's that little line that's hemmed in, all right? And that's showing you where it should be crossing, okay? This gives you a reference. So first step, take your fat end, put it over top of the skinny end, okay? Right where that line is, okay? Now pinch that. Next step you wanna do is bring your fat end behind the skinny end. Pull that all the way over, all right? And as you're doing this, you're using your finger and thumb to hold this together. Next step is take your fat end and bring it across the front. Now right here, what we're creating is the front of our triangle knot, okay, or a Windsor knot, that's the front. Next step, take your fat ends, push it under that neck hole, okay, so it's going behind it and up through the front of it, just like that. And you can pull it all the way through, okay. Now, if I keep this off to the side to show you this, remember, this is the front of our knot. We've created a little pocket here. We want to put the tip of the fat end through that hole and pull it all the way through. That finishes the knot. So here's our tip. Put it through the hole. All right, so awkward to do it from this angle. <laughs> but you kind of have to hold this together while you're doing this. Poke that through. Here we go. So I pull it all the way through, and you can see, create a triangle. Very nice. Now to adjust, see how this is loose, and you want this knot up here? We take our skinny end, we hold this kind of whole assembly together, and we pull through. This will slide through both ways, okay, to loosen your tie or to tighten it up, 
that skinny end is what we're, we're holding. The front part we're just kind of keeping stable. You want to pull this through, cinch it up real nice. All right, keep your triangle shaped like a triangle. You can pull on both sides to flare that triangle out to make it wider. All right, then all you have to do is find that, that loop I was showing you earlier. All right, put your skinny end through the loop to keep the back part uh, nice and straight. All right, so just pull that through. So there's the back of the tie. Here's the front of the tie. You can play around with this, make it look nice and neat. Make it tighter if you want. You can make this the uh, knot part small or large. Like I said, the double wins or not, it's gonna make this whole triangle like physically larger, so it's more pronounced. Because there's literally more material stuff than you're not. But that's it. That's how to tie a tie. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.